Okay, I apologize. Uh, I just ran out of time on the time code on the screen recorder again. Okay, so I was explaining. Suppose this is 200 centimeters long. I said uh, I'm using centimeters because I want you to understand. I don't want my students to get confused. Uh, let's not use pixels for now. I know the measurements here is pixels, but let's just use centimeters. Suppose uh, it's 200 centimeters long. What should, um, and this is uh, say 20 centimeters long. Now, if I double the size of this from 200 to 400, what do you think should be the size that is the width of this button? Obviously, the width of this button should also double because I've doubled the size of the form. Uh, I don't know if this is clear. Now, the, the, the simple arithmetic there is just that the ratio by which you enlarge or minimize, that is, you resize the form, is the same ratio by which you're going to resize your buttons or your controls. It's also the same ratio by which you're going to adjust the dot .x and dot .y location of those buttons. It's as simple as that. So if I change if i enlarge this form to three times its size i am simply going to enlarge this button to three times its size it's as simple as that so the way we're going to do that is first we're going to find that ratio whenever the 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 size now you see that is why we stored the original size of the form so when the size of the form changes we're going to have a new form size then we're now going to use this original form size and see what is the ratio of the uh, new form size to the old form size. That is just old form size, uh, sorry, new form size divided by old form size. We get the ratio by which this was resized. Uh, and then from there, we can use that ratio to multiply the each and every one of these data. That's this location.x, uh, location.y, width, height, and everything, you understand? By multiplying by those ratios, we're going to get exactly the correct enlargement and resize, uh, or sorry, resizing of those buttons and repositioning of those buttons. I'm not, I don't know if uh, what I'm saying makes any sense. I know, I know it makes sense to me anyway, but um, let's just hope or let's hope that uh, by the time we start writing the code, it might it might become a little bit uh, more clear. So um, let's go ahead and see that. Now, um, for that, uh, I think I'm going to create a new method. So I'm going to create a new method that is going to resize each and every one of these uh, buttons based on a ratio that is given. Um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to assume you understand what I'm saying, but please don't get scared. It's nothing um, difficult. So it's just going to be a private void. It's going to be a void uh, method. I'm going to call it resize uh, children controls. Resize children controls. And then I'm going to pass... Uh, a ratio I'm going to pass a ratio uh, let's call it uh, it's going to be a float and uh, the ratio uh, is going to be uh, let's call it a ratio uh, sorry 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 now the ratio needs to be now for the for the X component we're going to need a ratio so we need two ratios so in that case it's not going to be a float it's going to be a point or a size Sorry about that. Uh, a size takes, um, I think a size takes uh, integers. Let, let's just check and, and, and see. Size takes uh, new size. Sorry, sorry about that. I just want to check what kind of data type does a size take. So if I say new size, is it does it take integers or is it floats okay it takes a point it takes integers okay i don't like that it takes integers i need it to take float so anyway uh we're not going to make it a size instead 
we're going to make it let me see okay this is what we're going to do the ratio we're going to pass two uh, arguments the first argument is going to be the x ratio and the second argument is going to be the y ratio so we're going to call the first one float x ratio and then comma float uh, y ratio so good so what this method is going to do for us is whenever we call this method we're going to pass it x ratio and y ratio that is we're going to say oh this form has resized along the x by this ratio and it has resized or it has enlarged along the y axis by this ratio can you please adjust our buttons and our text box for us that's all what this form is going to do so we're going to go ahead and write the code for that so when this happens we're going to need uh, the new um, the new location of text box one so text box one dot location dot uh, x needs to be equal to original uh, sorry text box text box one original rect dot uh, dot x multiplied by x ratio excellent also uh, why am I having uh, get or set the coordinates of the upper left corner of the um, cannot modify the return value of location because it's not a variable okay I know why it is uh, saying this um, okay so we just need to set um, the location so we need to calculate for the X first and then so we're going to say float or we're going to say int since location takes integers int x is equal to uh, then we're just going to write that uh, text box one original rect dot x multiplied by x ratio uh, no uh, convert float to int okay we need to cast this to int um, just give me a second let me okay so we need to cast that to integer remember this is a floating point number when you multiply this so we need to cast it back to an integer so all what we're doing is we're just multiplying the x uh, the x location that's the x uh, text box one original rect dot x exactly the x location uh, component and multiplying it of the original text box one and multiplying it by the ratio with which the uh, form was enlarged in order to get the new x so we can actually call this new x and we're going to do the same for y in new y uh, is equal to now this calculation I'm doing is for uh, is going to be oh I see I see I see it's going to be for uh, it's going to be for it's going to be for only text box one but we need it to be repeated for each and every uh, control okay so instead of saying uh, instead of doing this we need to factorize that out and also create another method we're going to call it private void resize control and you need to pass float uh, x ratio and float uh, y ratio and then you're going to pass the uh, control you need to uh, resize 
so we're going to call it control